Did you know that the average family moves every five years? Could you imagine doing anything just once every five years? Did you also know that buying a home is a 45 day long process, not including the time it takes to actually search for and identify the right home? It makes sense that your ordinary everyday person would not be an expert at it, right? So in this channel, I wanna make sure that you are an informed buyer, that you know all about our area here in Vero Beach and the greater Treasure Coast, and that you know what to expect in the home buying process. So let's talk today about the three things I wish I knew before buying my first home here in Vero Beach, Florida. My name is Rachel Carroll. I am the face of the Carroll Home Team here on YouTube. We help home buyers and sellers in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida from Brevard County all the way to down to Martin County. I've lived here for the better part of 10 years and sold real estate for just as long right here in this beautiful paradise. We've had the privilege of helping hundreds, close to a thousand families buy and sell real estate. And if at any point you wanna pick my brain, please get in touch. All of our contact information is in the description below for you. First thing that I would recommend before buying a home here in Vero Beach is to research the neighborhood or neighborhoods that you're interested in, all right? We've got a lot of different types of neighborhoods here in Vero Beach. We've got a lot of different types of homes as well. So knowing what your family needs and what's going to uh, fit what you're looking for best is going to be helpful. Uh, jumping off point and then going into deeper research about the neighborhoods that are your best option, right? What's nearby? Um, are there conveniences nearby? Are you close to the grocery store? Is that even important to you? Who are your neighbors, right? Like what kind of people live in your neighborhood? Is that gonna be conducive to the vibe or the feeling that you want to have? Do you know what's going on with the neighboring communities around where you're looking to live? Um, is there gonna be any new development going up? Are they already established neighborhoods? What kind of homes are there? Do they support the value of your home in your neighborhood? So just really expanding your research and understanding what's going on. I would also suggest visiting the neighborhood at different times of the day if possible, right? Like, it's just kind of going to tell you like who's coming and going, how active is the community, how active is the neighborhood. If you're if you're able to do it like sometimes in a gated community, it's hard to just pop in and out, but if you have your sights set on like one particular home or one particular neighborhood, it would be a good idea for you to be able to drive by a couple times um, d of, like different parts of the day. I think that would be helpful, again, just so you kind of can get a feel for the comings and goings. And if possible, I would check it out in different weather. So one of the um, first homes that uh, my husband and I bought here in Vero Beach, um, great home, love the neighborhood. However, when it rained, it was really prone to flooding, right? Like we were in a flood zone, not a big deal, but the grading of the neighborhood, this is like one very specific instance, but I'm gonna use it as an example because I think it's helpful. But um, the grading of the neighborhood was incorrect. So instead of all of the water running down to the canal, all the water ran down to the corner of the cul-de-sac, right? And we we didn't know that until after we had moved in and it had rained and then we saw, you know, the pulling up of the water and how everything flooded. So I think it's actually really helpful if you can visit, if you're able to visit the property in um, different kind of weather just to see how everything, you know, falls out. The second thing that I would consider before buying a home in Vero Beach is the pros and cons of buying an older house versus a newer house or even newer construction, all right? So there's gonna be a big difference in the experience of buying an older house versus a newer house versus new construction. Right out the gate, new construction really is kind of like as you see it is how it is and you're gonna take it that way. Um, there's not a ton of room for negotiating um, for the most part, but you do typically um, are allowed uh, more incentives by the builder or especially if you use their financing, they really incentivize you. Usually you get closing costs paid for, things like that. But you have a newer house. It's gonna have the newest um, building codes. It's going to, everything will be new under warranty. All right, you've got like builder warranties and different layers of warranties built in there. Um, typically for the first year, there's a full warranty and then about like a builder's warranty for 
10 or so years is pretty standard for um, certain parts of the home. So that's nice. You also typically will have different kind of technology, maybe, you know, a smart, some smart home technology built in. A lot of times they run like Cat5 wire there for, um, you know, higher internet speed. So there's a lot of like newer things that come when you buy new construction. And a lot of times too, it's not an out of the box. You can pick finishes and customize in that way. Um, but, and typically those newer homes are going to be inside of an HOA community. Ooh, it's a little windy here today. Um, inside of an HOA community. So also like, or a, a development. So keep that in mind. All right, new construction aside, if you're looking at an older house versus a newer house, there's gonna be a lot of differences, okay? Newer houses are going to be, or even let's just call it like a renovated house, okay? Like fully renovated, we'll say, or newer construction, like not brand new, but newer in the last 10 years also going to be built to um, the newer building codes, maybe not the newest, but newer building codes, which really affects things like windows, um, definitely your roof and the way that your roof is constructed and attached to the home, um, maybe different kind of like plumbing and wiring uh, code, things like that are all gonna be updated, obviously with a newer house versus an older house. Um, a lot of times with a newer house, you're gonna have the builders who have considered things like storage, um, room sizes, maybe higher ceilings. All of those things are typical in a newer house, something that was built maybe in the last, again, 10 years or so, okay? Typically they make them nowadays more of like an open floor plan versus an older house, let's say something from the 80s or 90s, um, or even a little bit older, you're gonna find smaller room sizes, okay? It just typically is how that goes. Um, a lot of times down here too, they didn't build them with a lot of closet storage. I know a lot of people who are from the North are used to having like linen closets, coat closets, and places to store their like year round weather clothes for all the different seasons. And down here in Florida, that tends to not be the case in the older houses. They just didn't see a need for it and they didn't incorporate that into the house construction. With older houses, um, a lot of times you're gonna have older plumbing older wiring, uh, might need a new roof or some of those higher ticket, ticket items like ACs, hot water heaters, things like that. But one of the things that I personally really love about an older house is I feel like they have a lot of personality and a lot of charm. So uh, a lot of times as well, um, if you're looking for a house with a larger lot, let's say bigger than the standard like 0.23 or 0.25 acres, Anything over that size is gonna be considered a larger lot. And a lot of times those are in some of the older, more established neighborhoods here in Bureau Beach. And you are gonna have an older home that sits on that lot. So, you know, you get the, the larger lot, but you might have to deal with the older house. Sometimes people, again, like me, really love the charm of an older house. Sometimes people really want like the newer fixtures or, um, to know that their roof is only five years old and they're not gonna have to deal with it for another 20 years, all right? So these are all things that you need to consider before jumping into a home sale he here in Vero Beach. And honestly, your real estate agent should be able to sit down with you if you can't decide you know, X versus Z, what's gonna be best for your family. They should be able to sit down and have a conversation with you about that, make a pros and cons list, I love a pros and cons list, but write it out and figure out what's gonna be best for you and what you're looking for in your next home. So the third thing that I think you should consider before buying a home in uh, Vero Beach, Florida is the real cost, all right? It's not just gonna be the sticker tag on the house or whatever um, purchase price that you're negotiating. There are other costs associated with the purchase of a house. For example, closing costs. So our rule of thumb is that closing costs are gonna cost you about 2% of the purchase price. That's gonna include things like title fees, um, closing fees for your closing agent, uh, transaction coordination fees, all of those extra little fees that go into it. You're also gonna wanna budget in 
maintenance expenses um, and the carrying costs, things like yard maintenance, or if you're in an HOA, the HOA fees. Understanding that HOA fees can also incrementally increase as your community needs it. So factoring that in, um, carrying costs would include things like your homeowner's insurance, um, obviously your mortgage payment, your taxes, your property taxes, um, any of your utilities. So uh, if something breaks in your home, you know, what is the cost to replace it? You're gonna wanna consider all of those things. Again, that can kind of be where purchasing a newer home gives you not a guarantee, but a little more assurance that those big ticket items aren't gonna have to be replaced until a little bit further on down the road. Um, so again, I'm not steering you in the direction of buying a new home. I personally really love older homes, but you just have to factor in the cost of like, things that need to be repaired or maintained. So you've got your carrying costs, your maintenance expenses, things like that. Um, and again, I mentioned your property taxes. So really crunching the numbers and understanding what is the real cost, not just the sticker price, What's the real cost of getting into a house? Because not only do we wanna help you find the best home for you, a home that you love, but we wanna make sure that you can keep that home and that you can love and enjoy that home, all right? We don't want you to be house rich and then not be able to afford the lifestyle that you want on the other end of it. So something that is like affordable and reasonable and a great fit for your family, that's what you should be looking um, for in my opinion. So if you're looking for homes in Vero Beach and you happen upon this video, if this information is helpful to you, give us a call because it's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what we can provide you um, and advise you on during your house hunt. And we pride ourselves on our high level of client care. You can always check out my other videos on this channel. I also have a playlist all about Vero Beach with all of those great informational videos. And you can also find us on Google, just Google the Carroll Home Team Bureau Beach Realtors and check out all of our awesome five-star reviews. We've got over 200 of them now. Um, you can see what uh, our clients are saying about working with us. Calling us does not obligate you to buy a house or even work with us, but it does start you in the right direction for finding your right home here um, and getting connected to a team of excellent, highly motivated full-time realtors who we really strive for excellence in what we do. So don't be shy, please give us a call and go click that subscribe button before you forget.